Hi there, I'm Marty Levinson. Welcome to the Northtown News Magazine show with the greatest cameraman in the business today, Sonny Hirsch, and your host, Avi Myers. Thank you, Marty. Avi Myers here, Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine, a presentation of Sonny and my Hirsch and myself. Dial us up on the World Wide Web, www.ntnm.org. Community policing, we're all big on that. Sonny's the chairman of the district advisory committee for the 24th district. Uh, check all the wet CAPS meetings for the area at CAPS24.org. And um, also want to mention that one of the things we did that was very, very cool and interactive, and I think this is going to be a new wave of technology, is that we recently filmed the first meeting of a new community group, um, the Westbridge Community Council, um, that went live on the web where um, Alderman Stone, among others, meeting chaired by Mike Moses, was discussing the uh, parking situation, and they were trying, uh, with, together with the community, and, and it, actually a solution did come up from the, from the parking garage being built to, to allow to, for a change in the residential parking. But it's very cool stuff. People could email their questions in and do things interactively. Um, you can get a link to it on our website at ntnm.org. And Sonny Hirsch and I are working to be able to do more stuff like that because we really enjoyed it and to be able to go more interactive in the future by presenting live meetings on the web. And that way the spinmeisters in our neighborhood um, can't quite distort things and people can watch it live and then it's there for people to watch afterwards. So, And speaking of somebody who's been spun and, um, and actually can tell a pretty good story himself, and I enjoy him. He's very entertaining. You've seen him on the show before. Uh, we're talking about, in the single most exciting race, I think, in Cook County this coming election, the Republican candidate for state's attorney, Tony Pareka. How are you? I'm doing great. Great to be here again. First of all, my pleasure, and I should introduce you as Commissioner Tony Pareka. That's right. Because you are a Cook County commissioner. So talk, talk to us about the state's attorney's race, the campaign. Why should everybody vote for you? <laughs> as you know, Avi, no race that I have been in no. that I've been involved in has ever been dull. No, and never. Th That's this true. one will not be dull. I, I guarantee you that. Uh, I, as you correctly pointed mm. out, it will be the only heavily and hotly contested race in Cook County. And uh, we have, I think, uh, a clear distinction between the two candidates, myself and my opponent. Uh, she has been there for 22 years and uh, now claims that she wants to be the agent of change and the epitome of good government, yet for 22 years that she was there as the second in command, uh, she has been anything but. Uh, I, on the other hand, have been battling the machine remnants here in Crook County for the last <laughs> six years and have uh, stopped uh, almost a billion dollars in tax increases, and I'm trying to roll back the 1%, 130% sales tax increase. Uh, we failed last month on a vote of 10 to 7. I'm going to try it again September 17th at our next board meeting, and I'm going to continue to try to make sure that the commissioners who voted for this half a billion dollar tax increase, I vote for it five times so that everybody in their districts, including up here on the northeast side, know exactly who supported that tax increase. Yeah, the Tribune even every single day on the bottom of the paper says X number of days to go until you can That's vote right. these guys out. But uh, the race for Cook County State's Attorney, the second largest uh, law enforcement office in, uh, in the country, uh, for me is really about corruption. It's about corruption causing high taxes. So our motto in this rate is fight corruption. Corruption equals high taxes. And uh, we have corruption here at the state, county, and city level across three branches of government on steroids. And we have numerous, <laughs> numerous FBI investigations at the city, state, and county levels. Are you you're really saying that the three branches of government around here are corrupt? Yes, I, I am. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. Way to go. <laughs> <laughs> you can remember a Greylord investigation in the early 80s, where, I mean early 90s, uh, where 14 judges in the Cook County court system were indicted and convicted and went yeah. to jail. One committed suicide. And, of course, we have the legislative corruption, uh, governmental corruption. I just met with Professor Dick Simpson, who is the head of political science at you UIC. A of watching Correct. Him. And he told me, he reminded me, that since 1972, 1,000 government officials and employees have been indicted and convicted in Crook County since 1972. That's about 35 or so per year. But you have to admit, we have some of the finest officials money can buy. Wonderful. <laughs> exactly right. So the Cook County State's Attorney has a responsibility That's not to look the other way, yeah. 
not to look the other way as Mr. Devine and, and his uh, senior staff have mm -hmm. for the last 12 years, protecting the mayor, protecting the county board president, pretending that there's no contract irregularity, no hiring, political hiring and patronage hiring, no minority contract abuses, no, you know, cash stuffed envelopes. It always, the U.S. attorney, it's up to the U.S. attorney to find, indict and investigate and convict these people. And in fact, that has been going on for the last uh, almost uh, decade and a half. So when my opponent says she wants to be a, an agent of change and reform, uh, pardon me for being skeptical, uh, okay. it isn't going to happen. Uh, my opponent's uh, campaign platform is not corruption equals higher taxes. Uh, her platform is it's my turn. And uh, I believe that the voters of Cook County need to stand up and say enough is enough and get a prosecutor in that office who is not politically motivated or controlled by others who is not going to be a, a cover-up person for others but in fact is going to diligently investigate and prosecute those who engage in white-collar fraud and crime which is causing our taxes to go up. Yeah definitely well we have the highest tax space uh, in the country yeah. yes we are. Unbelievable so um, okay right now we're actually filming this in August this will by the way be on the air either September 3rd or 10th mm -hmm. People at home will know what it is when it is, but um, you know, how do you how do you camp? You're, I mean, do you go, meet as many people as possible. You go to as many events as possible. Yes, I do. Uh, we do typically half a dozen events every weekday evening, wow. one day, and we do about twelve to fourteen on Saturday and Sunday. Wow! I've done about thirty-five, forty parades this summer. That's how I got the tan here. Wow! Well, I know you were here. <laughs> it's a for farmer's the, tan. <laughs> you were here for the Pakistani and the Indian parade Correct. in this neighborhood. Correct. And uh, we have been uh, attending numerous town hall meetings. I've covered, I believe, at this point, every one of the thirty townships and probably uh, a good third or 50% of the wards in the city because wow. one township we typically involve more than one, one ward to get the attendance uh, up. And I'm going to continue to do that until November 4th. Uh, we are now in the process of putting our uh, logistics together for the final push. Uh, we're only 75 days away from the D-Day, yeah, the election exciting. day. Yes. And uh, I believe that my record on the county board as a commissioner fighting tax increases, fighting uh, the corruption involving John Stroger and now his son and you know, the Stroger family payroll, which continues to grow, is now about $2.2 .2 million a year. Uh, we need a wow. prosecutor who is going to say enough is enough, who is going to put some order in that government, and who is going to represent the little person who pays the bill <laughs> by paying their taxes. And that's what I have done and that's what I will do. Very good. Now, um, are, are there other ways you see changing the department or, or I mean, the, the state's attorney's uh, office or fixing things up? Or Yeah, we, uh, we need to really examine the entire operation. This is a $140 million uh, operation annually with 1,700 employees, of whom 900 are assistant state's attorneys. Uh, my goal uh, that overrides my uh, role as a public servant is one of smaller government, lower taxes, elimination of corruption. In that vein, I would do an industrial uh, analysis audit, if you will, of all of the positions to see which ones are necessary, which ones are not. And then through attrition, uh, uh, through retirement, through progressive discipline, okay. uh, we would uh, slowly reduce and eliminate some of these positions, fine-tune that operation, and really keep in mind the taxpayer who's paying the bill. And not focus so much on the self-abusers that are being warehoused at Cook County Jail at $100 a day, where they should be put into treatment programs at $20 a day, but to look at the pushers, people who commit person-to-person -person crimes, property crimes, people who steal uh, you know, tens of millions of dollars in white-collar schemes and frauds. Those are the ones where I would go after and we would form a special unit to uh, root out public corruption here to assist the U.S. attorney in rooting out public corruption, which is really what's causing our taxes to be as high as they are, the highest in the country. Yeah, it certainly doesn't help in all the Stroger relatives in the payroll, not to mention what Emil Jones has done and Mike Madigan making our taxes higher so he can handle his business clients. Um, right. It's a lovely, and of course the general incompetence of, of Rod. Right. <laughs> I mean, if you look at the scams involving the uh, tax increment financing district, Ben Jarowski has written about that for, for years. Uh, you know, where the mayor has control over half a billion dollars and does whatever he wants, where you have, you know, condemning of the Bensonville uh, area for western expansion of O'Hare, putting out 500 people out of their homes, 100 businesses, uh, taking the whole cemetery and moving the corpses uh, out of the cemetery. That's been gross. there for 100 years. Yeah. Uh, all in, 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 in the name of what, exactly? 
I mean, they have no airlines lined up for, for that airport. They've got too much uh, capacity as it is as people are scaling down. They can't afford to travel anymore with the cost of gas. And uh, the foreclosure rate in Cook County has gone from 12,000 cases a year to 50,000 cases wow. a year this year. Uh, our unemployment rate is 7.6% and growing. Uh, we're losing convention business. We are not doing well here because of the bad policies, social and fiscal policies, that the government, uh, through its representatives, has made. Yeah, as a matter of fact, what, well, what I, you know, I, I have to keep changing what I do half the time, even though I, I'm self-employed. But, yeah, my, my, my main clientele was the real estate market. That was great for a while. It's but gone. If I, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I, I went basically from that much business to my hand is about three feet under the table, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's about what it is. So, we have uh, about 25,000 unsold, unsold condos now on the market in, in the uh, county of Cook, and uh, there are about 5,000 in the pipeline. So uh, it's really fortunate that the dollar is weak, uh, and the foreign buyers are buying because it's a good investment here in the U.S. It's cheap property. That's true. But uh, the domestic market has really shrunk by um, you know, about 20 25% a year, which is uh, quite dangerous right now. That is dangerous. I know right now that uh, people that were going to do proposed building projects and stuff stuff that, that had been discussed and all that, those those properties, I guess the lucky ones haven't started building yet. Right. Well, the voters who do not come out, and uh, when I ran for county board president in 2006, uh, only 48% of the suburban Cook County voters voted and 53% of the city Which registered Which is actually, voters. in my mind, almost criminal. It is criminal. And then we complain when, uh, you know, we get uh, Daly, Blagojevich, and Strozier. Well, clearly, we have a problem here in this state of mm -hmm. Illinois, the county of Crook, and we need, to, <laughs> we need to correct it by coming out to vote and uh, tossing out those who don't represent mm -hmm. the taxpayer's interest out of office. Very good. Very good, very good, very good. If people want to contact your office, they contact? Our number is 773-735-1700. Our website is jointparaika.com, J-O-I-N-P-E-R-A-I-C-A.com, or just Google Parika, and you will get our website and all of the other information. And lots and lots. And, oh, I keep forgetting to thank different people. First of all, on another segment, uh, on the segment coming up, I want to say a special thanks, first of all, to Ed McElroy, who got uh, Judge Sicker Dermer over here. I appreciate that very much. So at least I'm, I'm giving the thank you over here. I also want to thank Marianne, who's always nice to, to, yes. to work with. Marianne is uh, wonderful. Who, who, yeah, she handles your stuff. And um, every time I work, every time I deal with her, everything goes very smoothly and, and, and is exactly as advertised. And that's something that I think is terrific. So I want to wish you, now there's no punch numbers yet. No, mm -hmm. no, there is uh, no punch number. Uh, my opponent is number one on the ballot. I am second, and there is a third party, uh, a Greek party candidate. So uh, I am right in the middle, Tony Parika for Cook County State's Attorney. Parika rhymes with America. You may want to remember oh, that. That's a new <laughs> rhyme. I like that. Okay, and anyway, I want to thank you very much, Tony Parika. Always great. I want to thank my entire, and in, in, yeah, you're always entertaining is right. I want to thank my entire technical group, Sonny Hirsch. Dial us up on the web, ntnm.org. Um, you know, watch, watch our shows, 37, 38,000. Watch, not to mention... This really cool technology to be able to do live community meetings as they happen and do them interactively. It's just great stuff. Anyway, thanks, everybody, and um, join us next week and on the web. Bye-bye.